What's up, everybody? So today I'm reviewing the new Netflix uh, Adam Sandler movie, Hoobie Halloween. And I gotta tell you, I had a blast with this movie, and I'm gonna give you my quick thoughts. So right now I'm gonna read the quick premise of the film. It's October 31st in Salem, Massachusetts, and a town's eccentric, devoted community volunteer and the good-natured object of his fellow citizens' derision and meanest pranks finds himself in the midst of a real investigation for a real murderer. So Adam Sandler's kind of like a hit-or-miss kind of guy for most people, or a complete miss, because he always plays the same character or just does a weird voice like he does in this movie. But me personally, I, I have a blast with a lot of his movies. So of course this isn't the first Halloween movie that Adam Sandler has made. Of course he made he's made three Hotel Transylvania movies, which I, I personally love and enjoy, especially that first one. And it's so funny because obviously he's done weird voices in his movies, but that one he's actually trying to be Dracula by, you know, trying to talk like classic, almost like Bela Lugosi Dracula. Uh, but this is obviously his first live action Halloween movie. And again, it's, it's a lot of fun. And especially with like certain Easter eggs from like other Halloween movies from the past. You know, I think the most obvious in the movie is in a, a person escaping from like a, I think a mental facility or whatever it was. And so that's kind of like a nod to Halloween, which which I really appreciated. But real quick, I'm gonna take out my old phone and read you uh, the cast that's in this movie. And they are a large cast. So obviously Adam Sandler, you got Noah Schnapp. I think that's how you read it, Schnapp, from uh, obviously Stranger Things. You got Paris Berelic, Berelic. You got Bradley Stephen Perry, you got Kelly Berglund, you got Peyton Liss, Julie Bowen. Of course, you'll remember from The Waterboy and Modern Family. You got Lance Lim, who was in, um, I think he was in Nickelodeon School of Rock. That's where I recognize him from. You got Karen, Karen, Karen Brar. You got China, China Ann McClain. You got Kevin James, Rob Schneider, Steve Buscemi, Maya Rudolph, June Squibb, I think you pronounce it. Shaquille O'Neal, Ray Liotta, Tim Meadows, Kenan Thompson, Michael Chiklis. Fun fact, he plays a priest in this movie. Uh, Lavelle Crawford, Colin Quinn, of course, from the two Grown Ups films. Uh-huh. Blake Clark. Been in a lot of Adam Sandler movies. Uh, George Wallace, Melissa McMeekin. Ben Stiller makes a, a quick cameo appearance in the beginning of the movie. And I think you'll recognize him from one of Adam Sandler's very famous movies I mentioned earlier. Uh, Kim Whitley, uh, Mikey Day, and finally Tyler Crumley. I'm almost out of breath reading that whole cast. I mean, I would say this is definitely one of the biggest casts he's put for his movies. And a, a lot of those names I read of course, you'll recognize him from, like, a lot of his movies that he's made, you know. And, of course, I mean, Kevin James is almost in, like, a lot of his movies. Same thing with Rob Schneider and a lot of others. And, yeah, I mean, and then you got a lot of names that I read there. A lot of them are actually Disney Channel, Disney XD alumni, which is really cool. And, obviously, you know, China McLean was in Grown Ups uh, and Grown Ups 2. So it was really cool to see her in another Adam Sandler movie for the first time in a while. Of course, Maya Rudolph and many others have been in a lot of his movies, uh, but they all did a phenomenal job, I gotta say. What I really appreciate in this movie is at the very end, they pay tribute to Cameron Boyce, who, you know, the late great Cameron Boyce, you know, from Jesse and uh, the, three de- the three Fantastic Descendants movies, and he was in the two Grown Ups films. Uh, it's sad that he didn't get to be in this movie, because originally he was supposed to be in this movie, um, and it's a shame that, you know, we lost someone that young, you know, we're always reminded when stuff like that happens that life's too, life, it, you can... Life can just go like that. Doesn't matter how old you are, because uh, we're human, and it's a shame. But I really like that they pay tribute to him in the end. I know that they were very close, you know, him and Adam Sandler and that group. But uh, but yeah. But overall, I mean, it was it was a fantastic movie. I'll, you'll get a lot of laughs out of this movie, which a lot of people don't get from Adam Sandler movies unless you are really a big fan of his. And yeah, I mean you a lot of great actors quick cameos easter eggs you know all that cool stuff speaking of easter eggs they got a lot in this movie i mean they got (laughs) obviously i mentioned the easter egg to halloween where a person escapes the mental facility and just starts kind of walking around and actually takes a uh, like a weird uh, mask and puts it on and it's not it's not the halloween mask it's a different mask I actually forgot what it was. You got this sheet from Waterboy, you know, the one that he peed on? Or or the so his mama said in that movie? 
Uh, but that was a funny Easter egg that you catch on pretty quickly. And, uh, and yeah, there are plenty of other great Easter eggs in this film that I hope that you'll catch on right when you see them. So I'll just finish by saying overall, really had a blast. I hope if you're an Adam Sandler fan that you'll go and see it and have a blast. If you haven't seen this movie and you have Netflix, I would watch it. I think it's a really good Halloween movie that I think you'd want to revisit at least once or twice. For me, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to watch it two more times or maybe three more times because that's how much I really enjoyed it. But I, I hope you all will check it out. And uh, yeah, I mean, an Adam Sandler movie where he's doing a weird voice and he's got a mustache and well, anyway, yeah, that's it for me. Really hope you enjoyed this review. I tend to just give my quick thoughts and certain things that I want to touch on. I don't like going full in detail for the most part, but I hope you enjoyed this and I, I hope you'll check out Hoobie Halloween. Uh, it's on Netflix. Go check it out. Also, by the way, I forgot to mention it takes place in Salem. So, I mean, there you go. But uh, yeah, just please go check it out and put in the comments what you think after you've seen it. Go sub subscribe to this channel, press the like button, but you know, and again, if you've seen, when you see the movie or if you've seen it, put down the comments below what you thought of it, whether you liked it or not. And uh, yeah, share this video out and do all that stuff. Quick side note, I got a new Lego film coming out next week. It's uh, starring Ghost Rider, and I hope you all will check it out next week when it comes out all over, you know, on YouTube, my Facebook, uh, Instagram. Uh, just, I hope you'll look forward to it. Uh, and also, he's a perfect character for Halloween, so, yeah, there you go. So, uh, yeah, thank y'all for watching, and uh, go check go check out Hoobie Halloween.